growing up with you has been some of the best time of my life. You've helped me through almost every situation I've ever been through, and you helped me find the girl that I love. I'm happy to have you as my best man. You're honestly like a brother to me, and I do love you in that way. I don't know what I'd ever do if I didn't meet you. Brooke, Dustin's an idiot. You're gonna need to take care of him. I don't think he even knows how to cook, so I think you need to learn that. But other than that, I'm really happy for you guys, and I'm glad I can be a part of your guys' lives, so thank you. The serious part of this is be sure to enjoy each other and enjoy each other's company while you're young. Take care of each other, do your work, but have fun. The rest of your life you've got to be adults. Take a little bit of time and have fun with each other. I don't, I'm not going to tell any stories to get anybody in trouble, Brooke. We know, yeah, we're good. We, we remember those. So. Just, just have fun and, uh, and be good to one another. Congratulations! And we love, love you! you. dirty socks. If he leaves them around the house, put them in his pillowcase. And Dustin, wrap up. <laughs>
I'm going to roughly paraphrase an address given by Jeffrey Holland uh, that I hope will be helpful to today and to the rest of your life. In a minute, you are going to make a covenant, a pretty strong promise that you will love each other as long as you both shall live. That's a lot to covenant when we're young people. In that address, he talks a little bit about what love is and reminds us that it's not so much about what we say, but about what we do. As you consider what you're about to do, it's a huge investment of trust and faith in each other. Because when you get married, this isn't a one foot in, one foot out type of event. We basically wrap our arms around each other and hold each other tight and we jump in this pool together as a married couple. And when you do that, you put an immense amount of trust in each other. Because in the coming years, you will share with each other your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your fears, your ambitions and a variety of other things that leave you both very vulnerable to each other. The depth of the trust that you share with each other when you get married makes it possible for you to love each other immensely, but also to do potential damage to each other, other in those moments that are sometimes frustrating or stressful, like today. And what we have to make sure we do is keep in mind the covenant that we're making to love each other forever. And in those moments of stress and frustration, to make sure that we honor the trust that's been put in us by caring for each other first, by giving each other the benefit of the doubt, by believing in the best intentions that that person might have. I promise you that as you approach your marriage hand in hand, in trust, and of course in an ability to maintain that trust with each other, you will be happy. You will find great joy in this union. And I'm excited for both of you, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dustin, Thomas, Nelson, Jack, and Brooke, Morgan, Gruel. You have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants that you will now enter into in the presence of God and these witnesses. Dustin, Thomas, Nelson, Jag. Do you take Brooke Morgan Gruel as your lawfully wedded wife and of your, and of your own free will and choice covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Brooke Morgan Gruel, do you take Dustin Thomas Nelson Jack as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you of your own free will and choice covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. I do. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you Dustin. Thomas, Nelson, Jack, and Brooke, Morgan, Gruel, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and with long, happy lives together. And, and may he enable you to keep sacred the covenants that you've made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. You may now kiss each other as husband and wife. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, 
pretty cool I remember when you were first talking about her in your uh, you know, red rodeo when we went shooting that was pretty fun I uh, wish you guys the best of luck um, look up to your guys's relationship and uh, we love you enjoy your time hey, Tears 
Starbucks runs, Tortorelli's class. It was a great time. Congratulations, you two. You guys are a cute couple. Brooke, all of the fun classes together were super amazing. Laughing our butts off, not even doing our work, slacking off. Totally failing, but it's cool. Um, I hope we can still get Starbucks together and they like donuts. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, enjoy. I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time is all I own and in your eyes you're holding mine baby I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms barefoot on the cross listening to our favorite song when you said you loved I whispered underneath my breath that you heard it Darling, you look perfect tonight Well, I found a woman Stronger than anyone I know She shares my dreams, I hope that someday I'll share her home I found the love To carry more than just my secrets To carry love To carry children Of our own We are still kids but we're so 500 miles I had it all planned Drove all day to ask your dad for your hand I wrote it all out, I knew what I'd say My heart, it was racing and my hands started to shake But I took a deep breath and I said I promise to love her with all that I have I'll put nothing above towards me in that pretty white dress do you take this woman to be your wife to have and to hold for the rest of your life well i took a deep breath and i said i promise to love her with all that i have i'll put nothing above
my mind of the little girl I know Once upon a time You held my hand so tight You'd close your eyes and say a prayer Then I'd kiss your head goodnight And as we dance I keep our love Deep within my heart And thank God for giving me This angel in my arms You're my little angel, so baby don't you cry It's time to spread your wings and fly If there's one thing this father knows The hardest part is letting go But you still always be your daddy's little angel Like yesterday has come and gone so fast. Now my baby's all grown up, but the memories will last. It's hard to say goodbye when you've always been so near. But for now, I'll hold you tight like those times that I hold dear. And as we dance, I keep our love. Within my heart And thank God For giving me This angel in my arms You're my little angel I am lost And see through I think you Who is more adventurous? Who is more likely to get injured? 
<laughs> Who's more likely to get sunburned? <laughs> Who is more likely to be running late the most often? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the better dresser? Oh, me. <laughs> Who's better looking? There we go. Good one. <laughs> Who said I love you first? <laughs> who, who starts the argument? <laughs> okay, now when you guys fight, who's the first to say I'm sorry? Look at her face. Who wears the pants in y'all's relationship? <laughs> who spends the most money? <laughs> Who's going to be the one responsible for paying the bills? <laughs> Who's going to be in charge of the remote? <laughs> Who is going to wake up grumpy the most often? <laughs> Who is more likely to get lost? <laughs> So, that being said, who's most likely to ask for directions? <laughs> Who is messier? <laughs> I'm not going to just bring up that. Who has the smallest feet? And right now, who do you love the most in the world? So as I got into town Wednesday, uh, I walked into Brooke's room and, well, empty room, <laughs> and so many memories started flooding back. And I remember like <clears throat> when we were younger and we would sit in your room and we'd sit and talk about boys and all of our boy problems. And we'd stay up all night like asking each other questions and asking for advice on what to do. And like I literally woke up this morning and... I realized like we will never have those late night boy craze talks anymore because you're married now. But I am so happy for you. And I think a lot of people spend their whole lives trying to find what you and Dustin have found. And I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are so lucky. And I think if I could give you some advice on marriage, I would say probably agree to disagree. But Dustin... Remember, Brooke is always right. It's true. <laughs> Brooke's always right. But love, love isn't perfect, and it's not always going to be a fairy tale or like a storybook, and it isn't always easy. Love is overcoming obstacles and, and fighting to come together and holding on and never letting go. It is a short word. It's easy to spell. And... It's difficult to find, and it's hard to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is every second, and it is worth it because you guys did it together. And I love you guys, and I can't wait to see where this journey takes you. Cheers to you guys. So congratulations. I appreciate it. Marriage is great. It's fun. It's really hard. It's not a 50-50 thing. You're also going to hear this on a recording, by the way. So, hope you know. As long as you guys work together, marriage will be a lot easier. As long as you're on the same page, everything works a lot better. So, congratulations, Brooke. We're excited to have you. We're happy to have you because you keep Dustin under control. You make him less, you know, rambunctious doesn't want to fight as much. Little bit, little bit. Congrats. Have a good time in Disneyland. So like the young lady before, I had no idea that this was supposed to happen today. My son came up with a song that was some sort of rap medley, and there's no way I'm doing it. Um, obviously, Dad is one of the titles that I've been called by Dustin. It's probably the nicest one I've been called to. Um, well, 
Dustin is a special kid. When Dustin was really young, um, he slipped on the stairs of our home and took out his front two teeth. And for years, he must have been almost 10 before those chrome teeth fell out. He was our steel jaw. Um, every time he smiled, he sparkled. It was kind of cool. Um, Brooke, you are very special. I know we've said this a number of times, but rugby is special to our family, and I need 15 grandsons. <laughs> I only have four. You've got work, girl. <laughs> so, um, but to the gruels, thank you so much for the young lady that you've raised. We, as a family, are proud. We are proud to acknowledge the relationship that we have with you. Um, it's been awesome to stand in the line here today and Jamie to meet everybody that says, I'm Jamie's best friend. I think they're all lying, but it's amazing anyway. Um, thank you so very much for being part of our family. Brooke, you'll always be a member of our family. We have big goals for you and Dustin. We want you to succeed well. Um, of my sons, Dustin is the most like me. He's technical. He's physical. And if he can touch it, he can fix it. Dust, that trait will set you right. For a long time, my boy. Use it right, and you can mend any relationship or any disagreement that you have with your wife. Thank you, and thank you for being here. First, I just want to thank everybody for joining us on Dustin Brooks' special day. That's close enough. Uh, I just want to wish you guys the, the best in your, your marriage. Um, I'm excited to see what unfolds on this journey for you both, and I love you both.
sol que se te metió y no te deja quieta, nena. ¿Quién puede parar eso que al bailar descontrola tu cadena? Y ese fuego que quema por dentro y lento te convierte en piedra. Con la mano arriba, cintura sola, da media vuelta y sacude duro. No te quite ahora, que tú solo empieza. Mueve la cabeza y sacude duro. Para sacar de locura, morena, reina, mi un lado. Yeah. 